Hey guys, it's me Karen. You guys, I have been on full mom duty and girl boss duty and I'm so tired. It's been like a really intense week for me of just like momming and working. So I have a party tonight that I need to get ready for and I feel like I should just hop on here and do it with you guys. Um, so yeah, let's hang out, get ready for a party. I have no idea what I'm gonna do by the way in terms of my makeup, but I have my outfit selected and it's right here. I'm actually wearing the bra right now to have some inspiration. So I have like a lot of gems here that I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna, let's see what, let's see what I'm gonna do. Let's go with the vibe, the feels and get inspired together. Here's one of the looks. Isn't that super cool? The gems go all the way up to the brows. The other one is like really simple like this super simple and I really like the really bright inner corner situation so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that oh by the way I want to thank Cleo for sponsoring today's video you guys know I am obsessed with their cushion already but today I want to show you guys how great their mascara is too this is their kill lash super proof mascara extreme volume number four they have a number one that is like waterproof for the summer which is perfect for the pool side or the summer um this one is really great for hassle-free removal of your makeup it's also also really great for oily lids which I have but first let's just get into the base this is my favorite cushion right now and I'm in the shade number four ginger I just love how lightweight it feels on my skin it doesn't feel like I'm wearing any foundation at all and it does a really great job covering all of my redness and the shade is perfect for me. This is actually the best-selling cushion in Korea when I visited two months ago, and I get it. It is so, so good. I've been wearing this for months now. Just look at how cute. This is, honestly, I think this is a perfect gift to buy someone for the holidays. Look at how cute the little paw prints on here. I like, and the cushion is one of a kind. You have a little paw cushion on here too. It makes me so happy every time I look at this. I also stopped wearing my lash extensions because I really wanted to give them a break. But you guys, I forgot how bare my lashes look. I have so little short Asian lashes. This is a curse of having perfect straight Asian hair and then having nothing on your eyelids. Next step, I like to frame my face before I kind of know what I'm gonna do. I remember asking you guys how old you guys are and I realized a lot of you guys are still in your 20s. When did you guys start watching YouTube videos? And what is your favorite way to consume makeup content? Is it YouTube or Instagram? or TikTok. Personally, I love watching Get Ready With Me videos, kind of like the sit down. I think it's so therapeutic. The thing is with like long form content, you really get to see how people apply their techniques versus in short form content, it just moves so quickly. You don't get to really learn how someone does something, you know what I mean? This pen is actually meant to be for your under eye lash line, but I have not figured out a natural way of applying to my lower lash line. So I just use it on my brows and I think it looks really good on my brows. I'm curious, what is your occupation? Like, what do you do during the day? Are you in the creative field? Are you still a student? Um, if you're a student, like, what are you studying right now? Tell me in the comments below. Maybe I'll do something like this. White on the inner corners and then gems like that. Yeah, yeah, so it kind of matches. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna go for like a gray tone for my makeup. Something like this. I'll be jumping in between my Lazy Soft Paw palette from Clio and then this one because I love this color right here. I think this color is really great for this cool tone vibe. Look at how adorable this palette is too. Look, they have little cat paw prints here and also right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this color first as a transitioning shade. This is really good to contour my eyelids and add some depth to my eyes. Using a gentle sweeping lotion, I'm applying this all over my lids. Then taking this color right here. People will tell you that you shouldn't mix cool tone like this color I have on my lids right now with warm tone like the transition shade that I have on my lids. But I cannot disagree anymore. I feel like when you mix a cool tone and a warm tone together, it really brings the makeup out. It just pops that much more when you pair the two together. Okay, going back to the Lazy Soft Paw palette, I'm taking this shade right here. It's called Chew Addict. I'm not sure what a Churu Addict is. I guess what a Churu Addict is. Honestly, blending makeup is so therapeutic. If you're not in a rush and you watch how beautifully it transitions on your eyelids, so it feels so good. It's, it's like doing art on your face. A little life update. Normally we have a live-in 
nanny that stays with us and takes care of Dove, but she's on vacation for two weeks right now. So Leo and I have been on full parenting duty, which is so sweet. We really enjoy these moments together. At the same time, for whatever reason, work has just piled up like crazy in the last two weeks and we've been so incredibly busy turning in campaigns and also momming and dadding hella hard. So this Saturday, we're actually going to Thailand, which is completely unplanned to have like a child-free week. Really worked out because now I feel like we're having a vacation. This sounds really bad to say like from being parents, but... This is the first time we're taking a seven day long vacation without bringing Dove with us. I am gonna miss her a lot. I already know I will because she's the best. But I also think this is gonna be so nice for Leo and I to go on this vacation. Have a little mom and dad moment and enjoy each other. We're going to Chiang Mai, which I actually have never been before. We're gonna go with our friends from college. So that's super nice, I'm so excited. Okay, so this isn't part of the photo but I kind of want to do this little moment here where I cut this crease because we're gonna brighten this up right so I want this to be super white so I'm gonna cut this crease right here just the inner corner of my eye this is not the right brush for this a little bit of concealer here just so that the color pops even more when I put that white on the inner corner of my eyes and then pat 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 so that it blends nicely with that gray tone that we put on there and doing the same thing to the other side of my eye the trickiest part is making sure that they're even on both eyes so i'm watching selling sunset right now and i need your guys' opinion what do you guys think of girl nicole so she's actually one of the first agents that started working at the Oppenheim group and she just joined i think last season and she started a bunch of drama with Chrishell and so Nicole started so much drama last season and then she, I honestly don't know what she has against Chriselle. Like she was super judging Chriselle, saying that she's not a real real estate agent, that she doesn't deserve some of the jobs that she's had. Anyway, she was like really shit talking her, right? Okay, so the, this season just started and then the first episode, you hear that she calls Emma what, oh, that is definitely not what I was expecting. How about on the Dominique? transition palette frothy is a shade i'm looking for oh yeah there we go i fixed it right up okay so she's talking about emma now and then she calls her a social climber and, and she's just chrishell's minion essentially that's like the worst thing you can say about someone's friend right like they're their own person and emma's mad now emma confronts nicole nicole's longtime friend is friends with everyone else in the office too and then she heard about this and she's like well that's not cool so she sides with emma and Chrishell. So now Nicole can't stand it. She feels very ostracized. She feels like everyone's ganging up on her. Those are her words. Now this is how I feel. It's like, okay, I do feel sorry for her at this point in the sense because her mental health is very troubled now. She um, can't fall asleep. She has issues. Yeah, in general with her mental health. So I can sympathize with that, right? But I also feel like if you can't take it, then don't dish it, right? Like, why are you saying all this stuff about people? That's how I feel. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on Nicole and whether or not if she's just starting drama or is it true that Chriselle can do no wrong through everything she does, everyone always backs her up. Yeah, what do you guys think? I'll tell you what I think. I think partially that is true. And that's because honestly, it is kind of Chriselle's show, right? Selling Sunset. It started out with Chriselle. I think I could understand where Nicole is coming from because she's like, a new girl that's just joined the show in the last season or so but why would you come in hot aiming for the main girl that's what i don't understand she's like she runs the show and every other girl around her on the show wants to be friends with Chriselle because she's the main character essentially you know what i mean and then you come in on the show as a new girl with like other girls have six seasons ahead of you has rapport with those girls already and then you come in as a new girl and then you're gonna be the villain you're just setting up yourself you know to fail in the show the upper eyelid makeup is pretty decent next i'm gonna use my cleo eyeliner I love this Kill Black eyeliner. I've used it already in the past and I this is my second tube. I love this eyeliner because I can get into my waterline and it's not going to smudge. Now it's time to curl the lashes. Okay, the most important part of curling our lashes is getting as close to the root as possible. 
holding a couple seconds squeeze and then pulling out situation without actually dragging your lashes off I have this teeny tiny brush and it's gonna be perfect for picking up this dense glitter from this palette oh yeah that is so pretty oh my god I decided ch I want to change my mind a line instead of filling it up completely with glitter I think this is even prettier next is mascara I'm gonna apply these two mascaras again these are from Clio these are their kill lash mascaras one of the most popular mascaras for barely there. If you don't have any lashes like me and you can't really see them, they don't curl. These are literally perfect. Go do your research and you'll find that this is a cult classic mascara that everybody loves. There are two different types. There's the Kill Lash Super Proof Long Curling Mascara, which is a matte one right over here. And there is the Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara Extreme Volume. I'm gonna start off with using the Extreme Volume and then coat it with the Long Lash Mascara. The volume curling wand looks like this. I like to start with the volume one to build the base up before I do the, and I like to lengthen it up after. I mean, just look at the difference between this eye and that eye. You at least see something on my eyelash. Okay, I'm gonna take the long curling one and make this even longer. It's crazy how long it makes my eyelashes. You guys should definitely stock up these mascaras on Black Friday and you can shop them on Amazon. I mean, just look at this eye versus this eye. Now I can do a little bit of concealer. Favorite mascara of all time, the Kill Lash Super Proof Long Lash Mascara. This is super waterproof. You can swim with this, but what I love about it is that I have like barely their Asian lashes and it makes them so long. Like, look at how cute this eye is compared to that eye. Now I'm gonna finish off this eye. Okay, now I'm gonna do my under eye aguisol. The point of this is to make you look like you have a shorter center of your face. And it also makes you look a little bit more youthful. When I went to get my personal color analysis done, they said that this little section is pretty crucial for me. Make my makeup enhance my face shape and I fully agree. This is my favorite brush. If you guys watch any of my videos, you'll know that this is the only brush that I keep talking about and I won't stop talking about it because it's the best. That contour shade is so dark, unexpected. I love using Asian makeup because the contour shades are always perfectly cool toned and not warm toned. So it just works really well on your skin tone, you know? Cute. Oh, this is my favorite lip liner from Peri Para. This is the Milky Brown Lip Liner, and I like to put it on my lower lash line first, like this. Okay, I'm gonna use this powder. Whoa, that's really nice. Look at that, completely mattified. This is my NARS palette. This is the Full Dimension Cheek Palette, and I'm using the shade danger zone and I'm gonna pat it in what this will do is lift up my cheeks okay now I need to warm up my face a touch so I'm gonna take this color right here and decent I'm placing it to my jawline and also underneath my jaws to really kind of slim down my face a little bit look at that that really just took it in and then I'm putting it to the outer perimeter of my face here all over warm up my face just one little pat is all you need oh that went a little too strong so we're gonna have to really go in there and blend it out now it's time for the gems I haven't decided how I'm gonna place them yet so let's see I super love how this turned out. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Damn. You run this shit, Karen. When you want to, you run this shit. For real. This took like two hours to do, but we're gonna finish off the lips with the same Peri Peri Milky Brown Lip Liner I put under my eyes. I have two color choices. I have this one, which it looks like. I don't know, it's not vampy enough for me. I kind of want something a little bit more vampy. So I might go with this one for Makeup Forever. Yeah. Oh. Hmm, this is coming off a bit redder. 
I'll start with this one. This is in the shade 420 Mighty Maroon. Wait, actually that's perfect. Oh wow. Okay. That took two hours to create but it was super fun and I'm so glad you guys got to hang out with me while I created this look, this holiday festive look. Make sure you guys check out Amazon for Black Friday to get all your Clio products, especially these mascaras. You need them in your life. They are literally the best, especially for girls who have short, helpless lashes like mine. Look at that. Just look at that. I want to thank Clio again for sponsoring today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, I'm here. Get onto the elevator with everybody else. I have a secret. I'm not wearing any pants because my jacket is really long, but hopefully, I don't flash anyone. Everyone's signing in at the Soho house. Tell me why I'm always going to these events alone. Hi, for Karen. K A R E N. Um, Karen Young, Karen Young, Karen K, Karen Ho, Karen Young. Oh, Karen Young, right there. <laughs> yeah, that one. Loki okay, freaking out, thinking that I didn't get invited. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Good. A little bit of a drink station. 